the rate law for a reaction gives you the rate at any time of the reaction if you know what the concentrations of the chemical of the reactants are at that point. So for example, here's an overall balanced reaction, 1C plus 4B makes 2D and 1E. The rate law always has the same form. The rate law's form is rate on the left is equal to a lowercase k, which stands for the rate constant, times the concentration of the first reactant raised to some unknown power x, times the concentration of the next reactant raised to some unknown power y. Later on, you're going to see how we calculate x and y from experimental data. But for now, let's say that I give you the rate law is this rate law, k times c to the third times b to the second. Notice the products do not appear in the rate law. At this point, it's just the reactants that show up in the rate law. The exponent is called the order. So this would be a third order reaction with respect to chemical C. This would be a second order reaction with respect to chemical B. And if you add three and two together, this would be a fifth order overall reaction. So the overall order is five. The order with respect to C is three. The order with respect to B is two. If we know the molarities of C and B, and we know the rate constant K, we can solve for the rate at this point. So here is a problem where we're given C's molarity, B's molarity, and the rate constant K. We want to know the rate, so it's just a matter of substituting in the rate constant. And then we have the molarity of chemical C to the third, and the molarity of chemical B to the second. If you multiply this out, the rate is 4.35 times 10 to the negative fifth. And if you keep track of all of the units, the units will be molarity per minute or molarity times minutes to the negative one power.